back to my channel and another video. For today's video, I thought I would do a little day in the life, just a chilled vlog when I'm working in the week. So nothing that exciting's happening. It's just a normal day for me, but I thought I would vlog. So it is nearly 12 o'clock. I've been working all morning, so I started at six. And I had just a short morning at work today. So I'm about to go to the gym and do an upper body workout which will be fun in this heat. It is literally such a nice day. The weather is just amazing at the moment. Before I go to the gym, I'm gonna have, you're not gonna be able to hear me now, just the kettle. I'm gonna have a little pre-workout porridge. It looks minging to be honest, but when I add the hot water in, it'll be fine. These are just in the freezer, and then I had this already prepped in the fridge. Say hello to the vlog. Hello. Peanut tomorrow is having his balls cut off, but he doesn't know yet. Yeah. Yeah, we've booked in for Peanut to have a snip tomorrow because I think it's time. They keep fighting quite but <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> See, this is playing. But they can get quite nasty and um, you can always tell when they get nasty because they start growling but it's a lot worse than this and it's getting quite bad now and peanut's always the one who starts them so we have booked him to get the snip for him i'm hoping it helps the vet did say that it might not um but it's just because they're constantly fighting for dominance so hopefully stop it This is playing, honest, I swear. You should see when they get nasty. <laughs> um, but yeah, because they're constantly fighting for dominance, it's just not nice. So hopefully it will work. But I feel like he's going to be really sad when he knows what's happened to him. <laughs> I think as well, we're going to have to keep them separate for a couple of weeks whilst it heals. So, an update on the kitchen. I know I posted the part one transformation video on Sunday, but we've hit a bit of a rut. In this camera, it does look really good, actually. But when you get close, this is after like four coats. And so is all this, and it's just not going on properly. It looks so tacky, but like from here it does look really good so we have decided to uh, call this a fail and i'm gonna go with a different idea there's a company online which you like measure all the doors the cupboards and then you can order new ones um so basically you're having like a whole new kitchen then we'll just have to paint the edges and these sides which shouldn't be as bad because they're not on show as much so i think we're gonna have a look and order some of them tonight but yeah i uh, wasted a lot of time on this to be honest so that's the update that it was just a massive fail <laughs> luke does say as well that he reckons it's these bits the patterns on them which are making them not look as good as well because they are quite old-fashioned so maybe if we've got a bit more modern doors it was would look better so yeah, I'm gonna insert a before and after, <laughs> even though it was a massive fail. Uh, I can see how much I wrecked the kitchen. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurry and to cup my tea. I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart I am on the way to the gym now and oh my god it is so hot I'm definitely gonna crash Yeah it's just suddenly gone so hot in England but then for the next like I 
bear with me whilst I ten point turn. Um, yeah, next week it's then suddenly rubbish and raining again, which is just typical for England. But yeah, I'm on the way to the gym now. I don't think I've actually explained on the vlog. I explained it on my Instagram, but me and Luke, well, mainly Luke, a couple of years ago converted a shipping container into a gym. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. As I was just saying, until my camera just fell off and broke, which is fun. These lights are gonna go off any second. I know. The lights keep turning on off because they're on a sensor. I think I might have got them to work. Anyway, as I was saying, um, my camera just fell off whilst I was vlogging and right this is up oh today is just a disaster everything's going wrong yes camera fell off camera broke the screen i am like holding it up the screen that i can see myself in i'm like holding it on because when i let go it turns upside down like that so i need to somehow stick that back on but i've heard other vloggers that i watch a lot of them say with this camera it's the canon g7x loads of them say that they have the same problem and like after not that long the screen falls off and i didn't even vlog that much i think i've had the camera a year and a half but it's not like i've been using it every day and for saying how much it is it's a bit shit that mm. Oh my god, I can't get it back on. <sighs> I'm just stood here next to the switch box. Great. But yeah, as I was saying, I've not mentioned it on here. Oh my god. I'm just going to vlog in the dark. I actually don't care anymore. Luke has converted a gym in like a shipping container. He's never actually had a proper gym membership. He's always just used this and throughout the years just added more and more stuff and now we've got like a full gym in here. So I've been using that during lockdown which has been really is the light video back on? Ah. <laughs> which has been oh. today is just not my day. But yeah, it's been really helpful. And I know that I'm very lucky to be able to use this, but since the gyms have been shut, so I've not really had a problem with working out. And as well, we've sort of added a lot more into it. So I might even just carry on staying here when the gyms do reopen, because it will save me like 30 pound a month. And when the lights decide to work, I guess if you go to an actual gym, you don't have this problem of the lights not turning on. <laughs> um, I will show you what is in here. There we go, right, I'll show you quickly before it um, goes up again. This is actually ridiculous. Right, ignore this little guy here, he's a bit weird. That's Luke's punch bag. I'm gonna lose my shit in a minute. Spinning bike, leg press, leg extension, leg curl, row machine, seated preacher curl. <sighs> What's this called? A bench. Dumbbells. Dumbbells. Oh. And I don't even know what you call this. Barbell. Different weights. Cable machine. Step. Bands. All extensions for the cable machines. So yeah, we've pretty much got everything. And then in that corner there, there's a shower room with a shower in. And a little mirror. This leg press we went to go get a couple of weekends ago from somewhere near Newcastle. Um, a gym was closing down which was quite sad but they were selling this really cheap belonged to a number one weightlifting champion in England and it was custom made for him and it is huge but it's so good the only thing I want now is a step machine but I need to save up for them because they're quite expensive so today's workout I'm going to do 20 minutes on the spin bike as a warm up and then I'm going to do an upper body session which mainly uses like dumbbells and these two machines. I swear boys are actually the most annoying things in the world. I bought Luke this wash basket because he kept leaving all his dirty washing around the gym and he just still leaves it there. If you're watching this Luke, that's how you put washing in a wash basket. 
the lights seem to be staying on so i can film a bit more of the gym now um but i've definitely just jinxed it and they're gonna go off any second so yeah we've got a good little setup i do want to i need to get some white spirit to wash all this off so i can write the right all my workout on here but it's permanent marker so all this is just stuck on but i thought it'd be really cool because i could keep track of all my weights and try like improve them finding it really hard though like my bottom is aching so much because yesterday we did a 15 mile bike ride i think it was this was the bike ride that we did i recorded on strava so it was quite far it was 25 kilometers which i think is just over 15 miles it took us two hours and 20 minutes and the whole thing i burned a thousand calories which was so good i'm so sweaty after that it's so hot in here, well it's so hot outside. I'm kind of excited for it to get a bit cooler. It may be rain for a couple of days because I'm too hot. So I'm just doing some activation exercises. As I said, I'm doing up today, uh, more specifically push. So I'm just warming up. So tight and just stiff. But yeah, I'm gonna film bits of my workout and just time lapse it rather than filming every little bit individually because I want to put my music on, but I don't want to get copyrighted. So you can watch my workout in a time lapse. Look, wave. Tapped in lately, my life had a fast man, but it's ass plan. Fight for my life with the brass hands, and I still ball with a bad hand. Got an aerial point of view, but they'll never see the big picture through zoom lens. From the quicksand, make it push start, type of band's cool, but the tent plan. I'm back on my bender rolls for the kicks. They keep to give them two. <sighs> Done. That was really hard today. <laughs> really hard. Just got back from the gym, and I'm making a little snack. I've got these cinnamon and raisin bagel things um got them from sainsbury's i think they're warburton's but oh my god they are so nice i just put some strawberry jam on them and it's such a good snack and obviously they're quite healthy because they're thin rather than thick bagels for tea tonight i have made well i've made myself chicken veg and new potatoes and then luke because he's veggie He's got veggie sausages, which are the new heck ones. I just tried one and they're actually really, really good. They taste really like sausages. And then veg and jacket potatoes. It's a bit of a bland, boring tea, but I just couldn't think of anything exciting to make. And then I've got a squares bar for pudding because these are on my plan. I'm going to have a quick shower and then leave this vlog here. Sorry it's been a bit short and boring, but... I thought I'd do like a realistic day in the life video. Obviously when I'm at work, I don't actually have that much of an exciting life. So this is pretty much my day, four or five days of the week. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I will see you on Sunday for the next one.